My name is Christine Griggs. I'm a yoga teacher, a meditation teacher, a writer, a lover of words, and the author of Yoga with a French Twist. For the past seven weeks, we have gone together on a beautiful journey through the chakras, through meditation, and through life. So week number eight is about ending this journey with a grand finale, going through a beautiful little trip through all the chakras and out into the world. And I have the pleasure today to offer you this meditation with this young gentleman. My name is Josiah. And this young gentleman. My name is Joshua. Who are joining us. So are you ready to join me? Close your eyes. Remember everything we've learned about meditation, how we sit, how we breathe, how we get that focal point, how we allow ourselves to flow, and maybe engage your third eye, engage that spot between your eyebrows. Now visualize yourself walking. Walking maybe through sand, and you feel the sand under your feet, and you have that connection with the earth, with the sand, and, and you, see, you see something red on the horizon. It's kind of a beautiful cave, a red cave, and you enter that cave. And as you enter that cave, you enter our first chakra, Muladhara chakra. That red cave represents your roots, your ancestors, and in this cave is all your history your heritage, your culture, the whole belly of that cave is who you are. It's your history. And you find yourself repeating, I am, it's part of me. Even the pain and the heartaches, they are part of who I am. And you take a few moments in that cave to really take it in and to really come into that chakra. And then you hear the sound of water. So you follow the sound of water and you see there's a little path in the cave that kind of leads you away from the cave and you come out into an open space where there is a beautiful lake with a little waterfall coming into the lake. It's just water everywhere. And you realize after you've come into Svadhisthana chakra, your second chakra, which is about flow, creativity, change. And as you look into the lake, you see all the changes in your life, all the changes that have brought you here and you see your beautiful creative gift and who you are. And you allow yourself to go into the lake and maybe to float on the lake, to swim on the lake and to let yourself be carried away. And the lake opens into a little river and you let yourself be carried by that river. So for a few moments, feel that feeling of change, of flow, of fluidity. And then you start feeling cold because you've been in the water and the night starts falling. So you get out of the water and you hear a sound, a sound of fire. So you walk towards the middle of that clearing where there's a beautiful fire. And that is Manipura Chakra. When you come into the fire, you are coming into your willpower, your self-esteem, your confidence, no judgment there. So you go by the fire and you warm yourself up and soon you're nice and warm and dry, your clothes are dry, you dry, and you feel very powerful. You stand up and you say, I can, I can, I can be whoever I need to be. And you realize now it's start to continue your walk. So you walk and you walk and you walk, and then you see a little house in the middle of the woods. And you come into that house, and it's got someone by the stove, baking cookies, baking cakes, making you hot chocolate, whatever your heart desires. And as you sit into a comfy chair, that person, just visualize that person, she represents love, Anahata Chakra, the love, the heart. And for a few minutes, you allow yourself to be loved and to love. And you know this is an important step in your journey. As we come into the heart, we also come into the spirit. So you give that person a big hug and you start walking again. And you arrive into a rainforest. And you stand in the middle of that rainforest, of that jungle. And the sound of the birds 
and the sound of the monkeys, the sound of all the animals are really connecting to your voice. And you find yourself just singing with the birds, just expressing yourself, just saying everything you've always wanted to see, expressing your truth. This is what Vishuddha Chakra is about, expressing your truth. And you continue walking and walking and walking. And now you come into a place that there's a big a balloon in the middle of it that you can step into. So you step into that, that balloon and you start going up, going up in the sky. And as you do this, you are in the middle of the clouds, of the stars, of the sun. You go up, up until you have that beautiful vision of the earth and you feel a strong, a strong connection to all of this. And this is where we go from Ajna Chakra, we go into Sahaswara Chakra, where there's a connection with the whole world, where there's a strong love for the whole world. And do you stay in that balloon up in the sky? No, we always come back. That's the beauty of the chakra journey. We always come back to tell others, to share with others, and this is how I would like to end this series and this story. And it's called mindfulness. This chakra meditation journey was teaching us how to be calmer, more peaceful, less reactive in our lives and to share it with others. So let's close our eyes for just a few moments and just allowing ourselves to, to be mindful. allowing ourselves to, to feel how meditation makes us mindful. Our mind is full of peace. And setting an intention. As we go into our lives, to pay attention to simple things, to the beauty of things, to be grateful. And to realize that we already have everything we need deep within us. Hands to the heart. Thank you so much for joining us on this eight week journey through the chakras, through meditation, through mindfulness. Please watch the videos again, continue your practice, and I wish you the best, peaceful, beautiful life. Namaste.